I'm Cole Coleman, inventor of the Thimble Slide. Let me give you a quick start in using the slide. A few tips. First, adjust the fit of the slide to your finger. Third finger recommended. And if you need any assistance with that, please see my video adjusting the fit of the Thimble Slide. You want to wear it about one third the way down to one half the way down your fingernail. And it should slide on and off easily. It's not gripping the finger. I wear mine in that zone, in between one third and one half. It's comfortable. If you got yours ready, then let's go. Now I know this is going to seem kind of basic, but just grab a guitar and play along with me. And I'll show you that the thimble slide is going to work for you. First, I want you to strum a D chord with me. One, two, ready, play. That alone is pretty cool. You just strummed a D chord while wearing a slide on your fingertip. Let's do it again and we'll go through a chord progression that I'll call out. One, two, ready, play. G with D in it. C. E minor, A minor, walk down. B minor. F sharp minor. B7. And you can use more sophisticated chords. D major 7, G major 7, C major 7, E minor 7, A minor 7, walk down, B minor 7, F sharp minor 7, B7, E. Now, in sliding, I want you to think about sliding the string that you're playing a note on in the middle of the slide. And this is going to give you some slap room. If uh, you're on stage moving around or if it's a dark environment, it'll make things easier. And if you're new to sliding, then like for instance, if you're playing the note A, if you're fretting, you're going to put your finger right below the fifth fret. Right? But to get that same note, same intonation with the slide, you put it directly over the fret. Give it a little vibrato. So think about sliding in the middle. Uh, let's do a slide melody and I'll call out the notes. Follow along. We're going to go from A to E to start. Here we go. Ready? Play. F sharp G, F sharp. Down to D. B E. Let's do that again. A to E. F sharp, G, F sharp. Down to D. Then B, E. Let's go through it again twice. And on the second time, when we hit D, we'll go up and end on A. One, two, ready, play. Now, as you're sliding around, right, uh, you may hear some overtones or noise from other strings. That's kind of cool. That's part of the slide experience. But if you're playing with a lot of distortion or echo and you want a clean melody, then you'll learn to dampen the strings. Use your other fingers as dampeners. Uh, so like if I'm playing the note A, then you lightly put the, like the index finger over the first three strings. And this keeps them from ringing. And so you can play, and it's cleaner. Or, right.
One more tip about sliding, and that's as you're repositioning the slide over the fretboard, just think of it as floating over the strings. Use a light touch. You want to be down here around the fourth string and be pushing down on it and dragging it back across the strings, or you might catch on a string like that. Right? So you just want to think about it being light and floating over the strings. Think about this edge of the slide around this knuckle as being slightly elevated and just lifting over the strings and you won't catch. It's not a problem for me and if you keep this in mind, I don't think it'll be any problem for you. Now in playing lines, it's best if you have a normal trained technique on the fretboard and that's with your wrist out comfortably and your thumb behind the fretboard as you play like this. And that's going to make things easier, it gives you the right angle of attack on the strings. I've seen some guys with uh, more of a gripping kind of technique and if you do that it might make things difficult so I urge you to get your wrist out comfortably from behind the fretboard when you do your lines. And you can combine runs and sliding together like this. In bending notes while wearing the slide, I want you to think about just pushing the string to the side. You don't want to rotate the wrist too much while you're bending a string, um, or you might uh, scrape the bottom of the slide on the fretboard. That's not a problem, but it's just something you don't really want to do. So if I want to slide or bend up a whole step, I'm going to push the note to the side. Not a problem. That's it for my quick tips, except this one. And that's realize that it's a new tactile experience to wear something on your fingertip while you play. You've probably never worn anything on your fingertip while you play before, so allow yourself some time to get used to it. It may take 20 minutes, it may take a couple rehearsals, it may take a couple weeks, but you will get used to it. And if you need to slide and fret within the same song, or if you want to expand the palette of your playing with a new color, then the benefits of getting used to wearing it are great. And to help you get used to it quicker than you might on your own, I've developed a series of exercises that are all about finger coordination and giving you something to play that gives you near constant stimulation in your thimble slide finger so that you get used to it. Here's a sample of a couple of them. There's about eight of these and there's one video where I teach them to you and there's another video where I just run through them so that you can practice along with me if you like. Keep these quick start tips in mind and do these exercises and you'll feel comfortable wearing and using the thimble slide.